you know, for, uh, for the listeners who may not know, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what NIL is, like what it means and kind of how it's come about in the NCAA? And then we'll dive into some deeper dive questions after. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's really topical right now with March Madness going on. We saw the players inside the bubble start a trend on Twitter last week, hashtag not NCAA property. Um, and NIL is the discussion around name, image, and likeness of student athletes. And as the rules have been for a long time and as they currently are, if you're a student athlete, you cannot profit off your name, image, and likeness. It's a violation of the NCAA's code of amateurism. Um, if you're a Georgia fan, A.J. Green got in trouble for that back in 2010 when he allegedly yep. had signed some jerseys and sold them yeah, yeah. for some money. Uh, Coach Rick and the university suspended him for four games before the NCAA even finished their investigation. You always see this come up when a player uh, signs some things, makes some money off some name, image, and likeness. And now uh, there's been a long time discussion for the past 18 months or so as things have just rapidly changed in society where the NCAA said, hey, in mid-January of 2021, we are going to change the rule and we are going to allow student athletes to be compensated for their name, image, and likeness. Um, in typical NCAA fashion, when that time came to make the decision, they kicked the can down the road. They punted on the issue. Now, granted, 2020 was a wild year. I don't think anybody saw COVID happening, the pandemic. Things certainly got pushed back. Um, but now more than ever, those kind of inequities when it comes to name, image, and likeness and how student athletes cannot make money off of that has really been pushed to the forefront. Um, and it is time for student athletes to simply be able to make money off their name, image, and likeness. It's something that I've always been passionate about. Um, I've had my own thoughts and ideas on how I think it would work, more so coming from the student athlete's perspective. Uh, as you mentioned, I, I run my own business called Fourth Down Consulting, and I was doing some consulting for a company called Icon Source. The founder and CEO, Chase Garrett, is an extremely sharp guy. He ran Red Bull's athlete marketing program for seven years, well-versed in sports marketing, knows how to leverage athletes, knows how to create deals and endorsements for them. Um, and he had created an absolutely amazing software marketplace platform called Icon Source. Uh, and just recently, they had offered me to come and run their collegiate division. So here I am now. I'm helping them um, kind of carve out their space in this NIL landscape, which is changing every single day. And July 1st, if nothing happens at the federal level between now, March 23rd, and July 1st, student athletes in the state of Florida only will be able to be compensated off their name, image, and likeness. So we expect, and most everybody that I talk to expects, the federal government to step in, create sweeping legislation to create a fair, balanced playing field for all 50 states so student athletes can be compensated off their name, image, and likeness.